Hello, my name is Ben Koenig and I'm going to introduce you to data exchange between AutoCAD Electrical and Inventor 2013. Within the 2013 release of Inventor, we now see the addition of Inventor Rooted Systems for the Premium Edition and being included also within the Ultimate. We also see the introduction of AutoCAD Electrical for both Premium and Ultimate Editions. So, what is AutoCAD Electrical? AutoCAD Electrical is AutoCAD software for control designers purpose-built to accelerate the creation of electrical control systems by automating electrical engineering tasks and providing comprehensive symbol libraries. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to show you is how to uh, create ribbon cables within Inventor. So firstly, if we look inside the box, we can see that we've got two PCBs that need to be connected. So the first thing we're then going to do is to create a ribbon cable, specifying the color and the size and where we want the ribbon cable to go from and to. If I select OK here, we then have the option to be able to specify additional points to be able to route that ribbon cable more successfully uh, throughout the assembly. It also gives me the option to be able to right click and select to edit the offset. Here I might say I want to have a point one inch above the, uh, the base and then select finish. Now as you can see there's a bit of a conflict between the ribbon cable and some of the connectors. So what I want to do is to be able to create a fold within there to make that look a bit smarter. So here, with regards to the alignment, we specify directions. So we utilize existing components to specify kind of the direction that it's coming from and where it's going to. And then if I then select OK, we can see that we've much more effectively routed that ribbon cable through our assembly. So the next thing we want to look at is the ability to be able to create individual wires. In order to be able to show you that, I'm going to edit this uh, harness here. And then we're going to select the Create Wire option. So within this dialog box, we get the option, if we want to, to choose a manufacturer, and then the size of the wire that we want to place. So in this case, I'm going to go for a 24 gauge red. As we hover over the connector, you can see a number of points highlight. So when you model up the component within Inventor, you specify the reference description as well as the pin number. So here I'm going to select J1 pin 1 and I'm going to connect that to P3 pin 2. If I select apply on here, as you can see it does a direct connection. To visualize that as far as its real diameter, I can use the drop down here and specify rendered display. And then I can choose to route that through one of the segments. Now the segments would be something like PVC tubing or heat shrink tubing. So here I'm going to say, the, uh, choose the option to route select the wire, select as to what area of the segment it enters and where it comes out the other end. We can also determine the diameter of the segment by the individual wires that are routed through there. And we can also check as to whether or not we require uh, an analysis to be done on bend radius. The software will tell us whether there is a problem. So the next part of the demonstration allows me to show you how you would route a segment through the assembly. So up the top left hand side here we've got create segment. So we can choose a color and then we can start to utilize the different work points located within the cable tie parts to more easily route the segment around the assembly. Again at this point we might want to specify offsets from different faces. So as we hover over a face we can right click, select to edit the offset, specify our value OK that and then place the last point. If I were to right click here and select finish, we can then preview the 3D segment. OK, so at this point, we now want to export the information to AutoCAD Electrical to show you some of the schematic workflows within that product. So in order to be able to export the data to AutoCAD Electrical, we would edit the uh, cable and harness assembly and then at the top of the uh, ribbon bar we've got the option within here to export harness data. So all we then do is navigate to a folder that we can export the information into. For the purposes of this example we'll call it Inventor Export. OK, so let's now jump over to AutoCAD Electrical. OK, 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is AutoCAD Electrical. Uh, as you can see, I've already put some connectors uh, within the uh, schematic drawing to save a bit of time. Uh, but I want to import the data that we've just exported from within Inventor. So up the top here, I'm going to select to insert a connector from list. And this gives me the option to then go and browse for the XML file that we exported from within Inventor. So if I select open here, it identifies that there are some connectors already here, but it hasn't found the D-type uh, connector. So what I'm going to do for the, those that it's found, I'm going to select to wire them. So this obviously saves a lot of time in creating the schematic information and having to do this manually within standard AutoCAD. So with that done, I can also select to insert uh, the D-type. So at the bottom here I can select to insert and utilizing the V option I can rotate that round and align it to the other connectors. Okay so we can cancel that there. I also want to input some additional wires so if I come to a multiple bus here I can select to um, choose uh, which, which connectors I want to, uh, or what pin sorry, I want to connect to. So if I hit enter here as you can see I can go in either direction what I also want to be able to do is to pick out the uh, the color. So if I type in T, it comes back to the wires that I'm using. And in this case, I want to go for the 22 uh, gauge red. And then I can move across to this connector and specify exactly where I want to connect them to. And as you can see, again, it takes away the tedious elements of working within, say, a standard AutoCAD uh, platform with the use of AutoCAD Electrical. OK, so we want to put some identification on the wires. Uh, so here I can specify to wire uh, number. We're going to use a sequential numbering. So let's say that this was power. We would say power 1. And then we can pick the individual wires by window selection. And as you can see, that automatically puts in the, uh, the numbering. The next thing I want to do is to change the connector. So if I right click on here, I can select to edit component. Uh, so we're going to make this a bit more interesting when we take it back into Inventor and instead of being called DB9, instead I'm going to call it P6. Okay, so that's done. We're just going to save the AutoCAD electrical file and then we're going to set uh, for it to be exported back into Inventor. So up the top here I've got import and export. Let's select the Inventor option, the active drawing. save. Okay so back in Inventor <clears throat> we're going to look at importing that AutoCAD electrical data. Uh, so uh, in the same location we exported it to within this drop down we can select to import the, uh, the harness data. So here we can go and then browse for that information. And select to bring it in. OK, so the first thing the software will do is to firstly determine as to whether or not it can find all the electrical parts. And of course, because I've renamed the connector with an AutoCAD electrical, uh, it can't find P6. So all we do here is we right click and we select to assign the, uh, the component to an existing part within the assembly. At which point, it's then happy. It will also check as to whether or not it can find the wires within our wire library within Inventor. Uh, we've some issues here, but only on the basis that we exported these wires in the first place is telling us that it's trying to re-import them over the top of the existing wires, which is fine. We can just ignore that error and leave the ones that are in there. So if we select OK, as you'll see, it will automatically route the new wires in place. So then it's just a case of selecting to automatically route them. So this is quite clever in the fact that it will find the closest seg point for input and output. So if I say auto route all unrooted wires and OK will automatically then change the diameter of the segment to coincide with that bundle diameter of the wires. What I'll also do is to switch on the, uh, the render display and we can save, save that there. Okay so the next thing I wanted to do was to show you how this looks uh, as far as uh, the drawing side of things. So of course you know the schematic is one thing but we want to be able to show uh, as to how this uh, cable harness is going to be manufactured. Okay so here we're going to have a quick look at the, uh, the drawing side of things. Now from within Inventor we're able to create a nail board drawing which essentially lays the uh, cable uh, assembly out onto a sheet one to one. Uh, we can include those uh, connectors associated to it. Uh, as you can see, it's added the additional 
uh, segment and wires here. So initially what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, the pivot option to actually rotate this around. So this allows me to specify the point, uh, the point sorry, at which I want to pivot and then drag this 180 degrees around up to the top here. I'm also going to break the length of this uh, to reduce it in order to ensure that it fits on the sheet. And then we can finish that there. If I drag this down to coincide with its original position, uh, we can then start to bring in the connectors for the D-type. So as you can see the option here, place connector view, this allows me to find any uh, connectors that aren't currently shown on the sheet, specify their orientation and scale factor, and then bring them in. So in this case I want to bring through the D-type. I also want to be able to create a projected view of that to make it clearer, and uh, take away the hidden line detail and put some shading on there. We can also label this up, so of course now this is going to be P6. And switch on the label, and then I can edit that just to get rid of the scale factor. Now in addition to the nailboard uh, drawing and the connectors, we also get at the bottom here uh, a pinout. Uh, chart so we can see as to where or what wire is going from uh, one point to another. Uh, we also get, if we want to, uh, the assembly level drawings. So just utilizing the uh, the normal uh, assembly views and bill of materials, we can then easily identify as to uh, what the components are with regards to the uh, parts that's shown there on the drawing.